okay welcome and one more guy was asking regarding that uh, he is facing the issue while creating the you know uh, yeah, creating the account uh, the yeah that guy is not eligible for uh, free account right Who yeah good morning rohe yeah good morning yeah you are asking the same yeah last time i had created uh, an account and that became deactivated for some time because i had used it and abandoned it and so i had to change my email id email and, ID and, and credit card a new credit card that i just received uh, two weeks ago and i don't understand why he told me i am not eligible for free account so i'm confused no no see take the uh, see there are a couple of things if you want to create one more free account you have to use the new email id you can create one gmail id apart from that whatever the identity you have given like some in india like we have some aadhar card or pan card or in us we have some smart card right so there is some number yeah. right so whatever you have given in the first uh, you know uh, time and when you while you are creating the do not give that particular you know id this time you can give the passport passport id okay use the passport id use the another thing what is that uh, different email id and different card then you are uh, able to create a new you know free account i don't know in their database when they see the same name reoccurring with different id see, and with the same name number, change the number also mobile oh. number see same yeah. number see they have the multiple maybe. checks right okay maybe i will try to use my wife uh... yeah that's better you can use the why your wife you know email id credit card and also the phone number that's all okay or otherwise you can go with pay as you go but to be careful whenever you are going to create an instance and all you have to delete that otherwise you will be in big trouble big trouble in the sense you have to pay yeah that's that's what happens to me you know so mm. that is the reason i'm from beginning of my uh, class i used to say please delete please delete correct yeah, yeah it's my own I, fault yeah. it's my own fault yeah Good morning. yeah even i used to create and i used to delete then and there correct in front of you guys only right okay uh, rohit uh, uh, sorry one last question so uh, mundango uh, currently like you know what is the subscription he is having now pays you go pays you okay 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 can i change it or you just have to stay that way it is better you change it. no he can't change back to you know free account okay 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 but he can completely uh, discard i mean uh, deactivate his subscription and he can i mean just asking i mean can it be done because thing is uh, like uh, i mean uh, even i don't uh, uh, i'm trying but i'm not having that uh, pay as you go subscription because sometimes you know by mistake something <laughs> goes wrong and i will have to wait up in paying much amount see see let me tell you if you are going to uh, upgrade your account so whatever the remaining amount you have in the pay as you go in the free account right like suppose in india you used to get 15 uh, you know uh, 15k right in yeah, us yeah. dollar 200 dollar right 200 usd correct so that yeah. will be carry forwarded to your pay as you go okay? okay so once that will finish then they are going to start charging Oh, 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 oh. Okay. 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 So okay. that is the, uh, but you have to uh, within the time limit itself, you have to upgrade yourself. After one month, if you are going to upgrade, then it will not carry forwarded. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, right. Actually, in this pay as you go account, okay, if we create a VM and all, immediately, like you know, uh, what is the timeline? I mean, uh, suppose one hour, two hour, we have, we can keep, and later we can delete or. what is the timeline uh, one minute charge. also then they will charge you okay 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 there is no time limit like after one hour they will start billing and all mm -hmm. so that is the reason i used to say that please create your instance and delete then and there suppose in vm 
for one hour it is going to charge you seven rupees ubuntu right if you are going to delete within one minute or two minute or within 10 minutes then charge will be suppose you know in a paisa right yes 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 so that kind of a smartness we have to showcase and within the month your bill will be only 100 or 200 or 300 okay. maximum in us dollar it will become a maximum one or two dollar correct up to maximum three dollar so that we are able to pay correct Yes, yes, yes. For learning purpose. So in that way, we have to be smart. Do not create and just forget it. Okay. Suppose okay. you have created database. Huh? And then you forget for one month. What will happen? Okay. 10,000. Okay. Maybe 20,000. A big size. Maybe 50K also. Okay. So do not... Yeah. Do that kind of charge, maybe hundred dollar in a month. Okay, so always check your account whether is there any delete the resource group itself. Clear? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let me from beginning of my class I used to say please delete, 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 right? So guys, today we uh, last time uh, we have already uh, no discuss about the what is devops types of devops why devops came into the picture today we are going to start about the devops labs okay clear guys yeah yeah I hope you guys have already those who have not attended they have already you know uh gone through the video why devops came into the picture right yes or no yeah happened Okay. Uh, was it was it last week? Because I wasn't in last week, so. Um, yeah, it was in last week only. So first of all, what is the first lab we are going to do? We are going to DevOps and all. We have to create the account, right? Create the Azure DevOps account. Correct, guys. Second, what? If we are going to create the account, we should have the organization, right? We have. We are going to work, right? Yes or no? in Azure DevOps clear guys then inside the organization we are going to work in uh, in the project correct guys yes or no okay. so we should have some project in the so project are multiple types First one is what? Agile, Scrum, and two more things. I will show you. Okay. Let me first. So create multiple, multiple organization in the Azure DevOps because more than one organization is working on Azure DevOps or not guys yes or no no one is replying what happened create yes, multiple yes, yes. project in the Azure DevOps okay Delete the organization. From the Azure DevOps. Okay. 
if you are going to delete the organization itself it means all the project associated with that particular organization everything will be deleted like the resource group okay clear guide yes delete the project from the azure devops remove the few services from the project okay add the multiple users in the organization add the multiple users in the project fine guys let us do this okay so first of all how to create the account we have to go to the google first we have to type dev dot azure dot com let me portal dot azure com should be login so first of all we have to login with portal dot azure dot com then we have to type azure devops okay okay uh, dev dot azure dot com. Okay. So this is another. This is another instance. It's not the one we used to have then. This is a service. Azure DevOps is a suit of service, not okay. instance. No. Okay. Everything. See, everything in cloud. Everything is a service only. Either VM also you are going to use. That is a service only. We are not going to buy anything physical. Correct. We are not going to mm. buy laptop. We are taking the service, correct? Yes or no? Yeah, so that, you know, even even in Azure, yeah, it's the same. Yeah, this is Azure only. Yeah. Here also you can type Azure DevOps. Azure DevOps organization. Okay, but we are mm. going to use entire services for free. Okay, so for how you are going to start? Azure. Click on a start free. Uh, so Rohit, can you explain uh, we need to uh, go inside the portal.azure then we can access the Azure uh, DevOps or we need to log in the separate Azure DevOps? Separate dev.azure.com. Okay. Okay. Dev.azure.com. So I ping you the URL. That's better, right? Otherwise, yeah. you will you might be got confused. Okay. But whatever the URL you are going to use, yeah, sorry, email you are going to use, that email should be your portal.azure.com, whatever you have used. Okay. Both the way, dev.azure or you can directly here from here also, you can select, you can go, okay. Portal also. Nothing to worry. Let me delete. Uh, Right now you have deleted that this is like previously created, right? Yeah, yeah. See, there are multiple uh, no batches I am handling, correct? Uh, right, but for this there will be a charge, na? You might have a charge for this, right? You. I am using pay as you go, so I am paying, man. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> correct. Okay, Understood, so. right? Yes, yes, yes. I am paying, so don't worry. Because if I'm going to use free as you go, how many, you know, uh, credit card I have. And also there are so many limitations. 
I can't create multiple instances parallelly, correct? In a day. In the free account. Uh, yes. In the free account also, we can use this uh, dev, uh, DevOps service. Yes, right? yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, guys. So how to create? So whenever you are going to dev.org.com, they will ask you the username and you just use the same email ID and give the name. How to create the organization? You can see that in left hand side, this is the dev.org.com. This is what? Service of what? Azure DevOps. Okay. So how to create the account? Everyone knows, right? Yes or no? Go yes. to dev, dev go to dev.azure.com, sign up. That's all. With the same email ID which you have created the portal.azure.com. Do not use the different email ID, otherwise, the integration will be very difficult. It is not possible. Okay. Clear. So, how to create the new organization? Click on that. You can see that. This is you pay as you go. Sign telling me here sign up for a pay as you go uh, subscription. No, no, you can select the free in that. Yeah, but you know, I select it free and then on the then the next um screen it says sign sign up for if a pay as you go subscription or use an existing subscri subscription in your account. Use an existing subscription. Do not you take some other you know? Oh. Okay. Okay. So here you can give the name. So name of the organization you can give. What is the name we can give? DevOps organization like Accenture, IBM, TCS. Okay. Okay, guys. So those are what? Just a bit. Organization. So DevOps underscore org. 09 those who belong is, depends upon the you know uh, location you have to select i am in india right now so i am just selecting india okay click on this is what how to create the organization taking you to your azure devops organization okay Clear guys? Anyone have any doubt? Yes, no. Please tell me. Yeah, it's okay now. Okay. So now you, you can see that DevOps ORG09. So this is the organization name or company name. Okay. Inside the company, we have a multiple projects, correct? Yes or no? So first of all, create the first project. Suppose project test 01 fine yes or no guys here you can see that public and private we should not select the public okay because if you are going to select the public anyone can alter your project correct so always you have to select what private private because your project is a private only private to your organization private to your team correct click on create project now project is created inside that all the services azure board azure repository azure pipeline azure test plan azure artifacts everything is there okay we'll uh, come later here so this is what we have created one project, but we have to, you can see that all the services are available with the icon, right? As I told you, right? Azure DevOps is what? Suit of service. Correct? In the last week, I have already explained your DevOps, right? So Azure DevOps is what? Suit of service, not a single service. Okay. In that, we are going to use the Azure repository. We are going to use what? Azure pipeline and Azure artifacts, Azure test plan. Yes or no, guys? Azure board. So, see, in Azure, Azure DevOps is a suit of service and from project planning to project ending, everything we can do that. 
nothing is required especially what is happening right now for project project planning we are using jira assam alm tools uh, for deployment we are using some other tools correct but azure devops in a single tool you are, you have each and everything you don't want to go here and there you don't want to select any other plan and uh, also the integration between all the open source tools like github okay bitbucket whatever may be the tools jenkins and all it's a very easy but it is not required in the sufficient azure devops itself is what very much sufficient okay guys we'll do all the integration and all in the labs don't worry first of all let us understand how to create the project okay after that we have to create the multiple project now the real thing we are going to understand what i told you in the last session in theory that is what i am going to implement here okay guys so project second uh, project name is project test 02 and also this is what demo description anything you can give and here try to here advance correct guys in the advance you can see that first get and basic but if we are going to here you can see that agile basic cmmi and scrum these four types of project we can create in the azure devops clear guys yes or no now anyone have any doubt what is agile i have already explained you basic Probably is the uh, actually yeah. initially you created a project right yes uh, one project by project uh, test one right hmm Yes. And this window, where do you get? I mean, sorry, can you please repeat this window? I mean, now because earlier this advanced option was not there. Now we, you're getting advanced. yeah. First time it will not give you uh, first time it by default it will create git with basic. Uh okay. No, in the actually previous uh, uh project. Okay, one. okay. Let me let me tell you one second. Hello. There's yeah. a right hand side create project. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. Anyhow, okay. recording will be available. You can watch also how I have navigation. But let me tell you, you okay. click on create project. After that, project underscore. I'm just creating agile project underscore zero two. Correct. Description I'm just giving agile project. So in the last class, I told you, right? Entire agile method methodology we can implement in DevOps. Correct. Hope you remember this particular statement. Uh, yes. Correct. So now we are going to implement the entire agile method methodology into the DevOps. Okay. Do not see Azure DevOps is a tool. A DevOps is what process. See, there are multiple Jenkins is also DevOps tools. Correct. Yes or no? GitHub is also the you know uh, uh, DevOps tools, but DevOps concept is different. If you understand the DevOps concept itself any kind of tool you can work only you need to what only you know you need one month or, or maximum one month two month training on that particular tool correct yes or no guys no one is saying yes or no yes 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 yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> whether you guys are able to understand or i'm just talking no i understand so agile project demo right and here i as you said that i know i'm going to select the private and i'm going to into the advanced go there and here i'm just going to select the agile and then i'm going to click on create so it will take few seconds to create so we have the you can see that project agile 02 again click on that here you can see that this is agile project demo this is a basic okay again now we have a four types of project right c m m i what what does it mean guys tell me what does it mean guys c m m i See, IBM, Accenture, these are what? CMM level 5 organization, correct? We used, we used to say that, okay, CMM level 5, CMM level 3, correct? Yes or no? 
CMMI is one of the what standard. Correct? Yes or no? CMM level 5 means what? 5 star training uh, rating. Correct? Yes or no? Guys. Yep. You guys are in the organization. You guys are submitting the time sheet. Correct? Those who are working weekly or uh, monthly, whatever maybe. Are you guys submitting your time sheet or not? Yes, submitting every week. So every week or every 15 days, correct? Or every month, whatever maybe. There are multiple organizations and multiple rules, right? So that is what CMMI, they are going to check that how much hour you are going to work in this, okay? So this is one kind of con, you know, compliance. Click on create. It will take few seconds to create. Okay. So what was the another agile scrum CMMI and basic, correct? So all four types of project we have to first create. You can see that in dashboard, all the projects are there or not. Click on once again, project underscore, what is pending? A scrum underscore zero four. A scrum demo basic means you it is what raw kind of project Roy, it's one quick question please go so ahead. writing the project underscore cm the name of the project that is the, the format for naming the project naming the project sorry i didn't get you what what is your questions? I just asked whether when you write project on that core agile or from or whatever. So that is the, the standard format for naming project. Yeah, just for identify, I don't want to go inside to check which type of project. That is the reason I've given the agile or CMM. Okay. No, I'm saying like if uh, you name the project agile 02 without putting the on that core. without putting this underscore project on that no issues no you can give anything without see there is no underscore right here okay that's why i was just asking. that is the reason project s01 project s0234 correct okay. okay so this is what we have created all the projects so one two three This is done or not? Done. Yes, done. Okay. Create multiple organization. This is also done. We have multiple organization here. Yeah, we create two. Yes, two, right? Nine and four. And also we have deleted the organization. Correct. Created multiple projects in the Azure DevOps and delete the organization. And we are going to delete project also. Okay, so let me show you how to delete the project. Okay, so just go. Okay, which project I want to delete? Uh, uh, you guys want to delete me? Tell me. Only I'm going to work in only one project. Okay. Because one project, same thing you can replicate to. So always you guys have to create two projects. So let me delete project CMM level three. How to delete? After clicking on project CMMI 03, you can see that in left hand side down, there is a project setting. Please go and mute those who have a background noise. Okay, so go to the project setting. Inside the project setting, 
it's loading guys just wait you can see that you know progress bar is you know progress so you can go and here you can delete it you need to type the project name deleted yes or no guys this also you need to delete because i don't want so many because unless it is going to charge me okay okay guys because we are going to do all the labs in only in the single project right uh yeah rohit we see that you will have the 28 days to recover this project we can restore as well if in case yes yes, yes, yes. accidentally okay uh rohit uh, yeah. one uh, one uh, thing the thing is like uh, uh, using this one method example this agile okay yeah. just can you show how we are going to use i mean just uh, a few of these things i mean like uh, consider this uh, class is itself is a project okay if you apply to the agile how how uh, things will work i mean just asking i mean just curious about so, yeah yeah that i will do that don't worry entire scrum okay, we okay. are going to implement Okay, okay, okay. Okay, right now, see, don't worry. In the project planning, everything I will explain you. See, let me tell you guys. I won't explain you all this stuff, right? I need to explain everything, right? And then we are going to do that in the labs here, everything, okay? Don't worry. Go see in sequence wise. Otherwise, some other people is going to, you know, confused. Don't worry. I'm not going to miss anything. Okay. Hello. So let me delete this. See, in any project, first, in uh, if you want to work in any project, you need what? First of all, you need one team, right? Yes or no? Yes. Correct. So we have, see, let me tell you, if you have any, uh, suppose you want to work in Azure DevOps, correct? You should have the organization, you should have the project, right? You should have the users, right? Then if you have the team member, then only your team is going to work in Agile, correct? Yes or no? Guys, those just know who, who have asked this question, Sri, you, right? Hello. Ah, hello. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. So first, we need to create the team, right? Okay. Yes or no? Without person, if you don't, if that is the reason I have added what? Add the multiple users in the project. Add the multiple users in the organization. There is what zero users right now. Then who is going to work in Agile? Getting my point. Any other? Any other member is there? No one is there, right? Only I am here, correct? Yes, yes. So first of all, we need to create. That is the region I have mentioned here. Add the multiple users in the organization. Add the multiple users in the project. Once the project user resource will be ready, tools will be ready, then we are going to start working in Agile, correct? That is the real time, I am telling you. How we are going to work, correct? We should have the team. So let us first create the team. Okay. Now, now we are going to do that. Remove the few services from the project. Okay. See, in any organization or in Azure DevOps, it is not hard and fast rule that you have to use all the services. Like, let me tell you. Right now, how many services? Azure Board, Azure Repository, Azure Pipeline, Azure Test Plan, and Azure Artifacts. All the five services. Right? Yes or no, guys? Yeah. But in the real time, maybe you are going to use only Azure board for project planning and agile implementation and everything, right? You don't want to use a repository because you in your organization is using GitHub as a repository. Correct? Yes or no? So why you don't require this particular repository, Azure DevOps repository? Yes or no, guys? 
maybe for pipeline you are not going to use the azure pipeline you are going to use any you know uh, uh, open source pipeline like uh, jenkins and all correct so you don't require this service for testing maybe you are doing the functional testing only and you or maybe you are doing some autom automation testing with the selenium and all correct so you don't require this services yes or no yes correct it may happen or not tell me honestly in the real time i want to use only one services for the project planning so how to remove the services go to the project setting so that see we have to suppose i am not using eyeing uh, azure test plan right now so why i am going to pay for this month so we have to remove this like that remove repository remove pipeline remove test plan try to understand guys i remove artifacts fine now refresh and go to the project now only azure board is there or not yes or no guys yes yes Sir, rohit uh, yeah rohit one question see if you uh, say consider that you know i am not going to remove it but i will not use it uh, will it still, it, i will be uh, yes it 11? will be chargeable yes okay, okay okay see you are creating the vm in the portal right whether you are using or not is relevant if your vm is running they are going to charge you correct yes or no uh, yes yes similarly here whether you are using or not using if it is service is enable you have to pay so that is the reason i am telling you the basic concept when because these are the mistakes you guys are going to do while practicing and the charge will be high getting my point today just now in the beginning of that you, know, you guys have seen right one of the guy have so much bill correct so i need to avoid all this stuff and also in the practical in the whenever you are going to work in project also might be the some of the uh, very small project they don't want you know all the services from the azure devops azure devops is a suite of service it is a collection of services correct yes or no clear so how to remove and all clear guys understood how to enable how to disable the services yes or no yes 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 we got okay. it now we have to add the multiple users in the organization correct so we have to add the user in organization see so organization is what again we i have to go here our organization name is what devops org09 correct i need to add the people go to the organization setting okay you can see that under the organization setting you can see that overview projects and users right so suppose you are working in essential suppose you are working in ibm so might be the so many people right so this is the organization user okay so first let me add the organization user okay so click on add user this is the dashboard how to group rules also you can implement okay first let us add the user also so here you can uh, give suppose uh, john at the rate of gmail.com next is what to whom julie julie at the rate of gmail.com it is going to accept only email id guys these are not a valid email id okay at the rate of gmail.com at the rate of outlook.com whatever may be for practice purpose you can use do not give the real id otherwise some other person is going to use and bill will be chargeable okay hello got it access level from that from here you can either basic stakeholder and visual studio subscriber do not give the subscriber always use for practice purpose basic okay 
from here itself you, it if you have the project whatever the project you want to add otherwise it's optional right now and whenever you're going to click on add email send email invites to users only or click you can remove also if you are going to select this email should be triggered to that particular user clear yes or no yes like how we are getting the access to email now click on add now go to the users you can see that there are multiple users right why did you not take the the second one ah julie yes up here clear okay added okay so like that you can add multiple users okay you can create a group rule also okay you can export users also okay guys so do uh, let me write one quick question uh, rohit yes so if we wanted to add it to add uh, say like 20 users at a time is it possible to just uh, get the from, from a, an excel file and uh, add them at a time or you must type them individually no no you can export okay just now i showcase you export like okay You can export, okay? Export user. As I'm using, see, as I'm using what free account, right? Yes or no? So they will not allow us to uh, add multiple people, okay? Maximum you can uh, add uh, 10 people or 15 people, okay? Maybe sometimes it is going to restrict. Now I'm going to tell you how to delete that. Suppose you want to delete this, right? Guys, how to delete? Go here and uh, remove from the organization. So why we are going to remove, maybe someone is going to uh, put the paper and he's going, he is what, going to left your organization, right? So they are going to what? Remove from the organization or not? Correct, guys? Yeah, Rohit, one the yes. thing before we remove, can we see, you have added uh, users, right? Yes. Uh, just, I mean, uh, like uh, briefly, can you, I mean, like, uh, can you explain like you know, how would this agent can be used for these two people? Uh, so, a child, first let us add the user in the uh -huh, organization. Okay. Okay, then okay. add the users in the project. In the project, they are going to, project is going to depend by the agile methodology, right? Okay, okay, okay. 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 Don't worry, I will explain you agile. Okay. okay how we are going to create how the scrum is going to run okay how to create the scrum on the dashboard and all this stuff i will explain you don't worry okay everything is in azure devops not theory practically i will show you for theory okay there is agile separate you know uh, then i will explain you one liner definition also so clear right how to add the users inside the organization how to remove okay 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 now we are going to add the user into the project so go here definitely siri i will explain you entire agile methodology we are going to work in boards okay yeah thank Don't you thank you do not so right now i am project project setting you can see the teams right click on teams okay. this is your project right either you can add the new teams or either click on this particular team you know project project agile 02 team here add the users 
so you can directly see in the organization we have a contract employee also right suppose ria at the rate of gmail.com i'm going to add i'm going to add see why it is displaying right now because this particular john is already employee of the organization yes so that is the reason it is showing but for ria it was not showing because we are going to hire for on contract correct clear let me say so this particular project team have the three member clear there you can see that direct member or expanded member okay clear yes or no guys so what is the difference between a direct and an expanded member good direct member is what who is going to directly involve in your work okay an expanded member you can add like you know someone is what occasionally going to come some operational work and all okay or you are going to later you have added that member or sometimes the contract people okay clear hello are you guys able to hear me yes yes yeah so let me delete the users otherwise it is going to charge after selecting you can see that remove after selecting it is going to remove okay so guys anyone have any doubt till 12 rohit uh, one question see consider yeah. that you know there is a setup agile setup complete is there okay mm -hmm. so consider two to three uh, admins are there okay so i want to take a backup of this uh, complete uh, uh, setup ye members and whatever my setting is there everything because i don't know like you know some other admin if he did something that, that will be a problem so how can i do this just now i show you right just export the users that's all uh no users is fine but what about all the other settings other settings means what kind of settings uh, maybe like uh, here we would have done some setting right in the agile we would have set something mm, nothing I mean. only the administrator have that particular access. right now i am a admin okay that uh -huh. is the reason i am able to delete if you are going to whatever the user i am going to suppose john doesn't have the, those access okay i am okay. the admin okay mm -hmm. and in the uh, real time also you will not each and every member doesn't will not get you yeah, know all the deletion of the project and all. otherwise by mistake also they will delete means delete okay okay okay, okay. okay. and for recovery it is going to they, they are going to charge you uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. backup okay. charges also so that is the reason only admin and if you want to delete any resource also in the organization there are multiple level of approval is required they will send what is the impact if you are going to delete okay 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 right? okay yeah. but uh, when you say in the agile uh, the main thing is only adding see uh, as administrator only adding a users will be the work or apart from that is any other work there are so many works in agile i have not started the agile aha uh -huh, okay okay so, yeah right see, that now, is the reason i am asking see if I you have, have right now i have not started the agile okay 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 right okay. now only these stuff see first you should have the first you will get a job in any organization right then only you are able to use the azure devops correct yes yes and after the after getting the job you should if if someone is going to take you into the project then only you are going to use the azure devops yes or no yes if yes you, other if you are on bench you will not get the access of right so in after that if we if you have some project uh, in the project there might be a multiple uh, person right 
project manager developer tester right business analyst product owner right yes or no yes yes so right now those stuff i am doing okay okay first okay all right first build the structure of the organization then you have to start see let me give you the simple example if you are going to work if you are going to construct a building directly you cannot uh, construct the building right you require what labor you okay, you require some equipment correct yes, or not yes. you yes. required cement right you required bricks correct so all these stuff i'm just collecting okay, then okay. i will these start all, working okay 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 without cement you can't you know construct the house correct yeah to to yes yes correct. okay guys thanks yeah thanks right yes yeah yeah welcome see always you guys can ask me any question but i want to go step wise directly if i will go then so many people will get confused okay and see those these kind of access you will not get in the organization but in the interview they will ask you okay how to create the organization how to create the multiple project on azure boards okay how to create the you know how to add the users in if you are a, suppose you are going to play azure devops you know uh, lead lead role so lead must have the access correct some new member is going to join your organize uh, join your project you as a lead you are going to add right yes or no correct yes or no no one is going to what should i say yes yes sir it is yes yes got it okay okay guys so for today these 12 labs is more than enough again we will meet tomorrow with the agile don't worry sir tomorrow i will talk about the agile only our equipment is ready okay our okay. team is ready our project is ready our organization is ready correct yes or no yes uh, yes yes rohit yes. okay. i have a quick question uh, in the project you have mentioned four there is basic uh, agile cmm and the uh, fourth one so you will show with us only for the agile each and every task or you will cover all the remaining three as well see same thing you can replicate you uh, no uh, see scrum and agile almost same okay almost same okay, okay yes basic is what waterfall model okay okay clear mm -hmm. okay and cmm nowadays if you are working on cmm level five organization they have different standards right writing the code is a different standard correct okay right if you are going to work in cmm level 3 they have the different standards writing the code itself doing the testing itself handing over the all the documentation correct yeah yeah uh correct. can you also do me a favor like in one of the project can you also show us like if the company is not using github pipeline so that uh, we can also learn uh, how we can work in the azure everything azure only we are going to do okay and uh, like get you get remove some services like pipeline get repositories are you are removing if the organization is using git and pipeline then we will no no it. everything i am going to use i will show you azure pipeline also okay azure okay. repo don't do not worry right okay. now i am just showing that okay how to disable okay okay you just show us the how to we can so again i will enable once azure board is completed then i am going to select the other job other you know, suppose azure test plan then at that moment i am going to enable azure test plan getting my okay. point okay okay right now if i am going to enable my account is a pay as you go so it is going to charge for okay. your you guys can you know let it be enable because you 